Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bent Knitter. So, we are going to be continuing on our journey of exploring knitting patterns program. So, last week we really explored the uh, online versions um, that you can get um, that were mainly free. This week I'm going to go into a couple of programs which you can download and have on your computer ready made. Uh, so, I have only a few this week, so there's only three that I really took a look at and kind of played with and experimented with. So the first one is called WinStitch, um, Windows Stitch. I think it's mainly for Windows, but I'll take a look to see if there's one for Mac too. But I did try the free demo version. I didn't actually purchase it. Um, this program, at, well, all three of these programs that I'm reviewing today, the full version does come out with a price tag of one sort or, uh, or another. So I also will go into that too. But Winstitch was the first program that I really kind of looked at. I really liked it um, more than from the programs that I found last week. So a couple of pros, pros is that you can actually do shapes. Um, it was actually kind of nifty. You can just drag and drop like a circle and make it any size you want and it'll just fill in where the circle was on the chart in terms of stitches and if there's anything in the middle it wouldn't fill in so I thought that was very nifty especially since I was the pattern I was trying to make had a circle in it and gave me a good jumping off point in terms of what uh, where to go how big I wanted the circle and all that stuff so if you're doing a lot of com more complicated programs with shapes in it, you can just kind of drag and drop and have fun with that, and it'll be a good kind of quicker way to do it, especially if it's something really complicated. Um, the demo is pretty pretty good. You can do quite a bit on it. Um, it has a good amount of colors that you can use, uh, so it, you can do patterns with a free version, which I liked um, because it really let me play around and examine it and let me do a full pattern on it. So um, so for the cons, um, it does cost money. Um, I think it ranges on what you, what version you get, but it's like from 35 to like $65. So again, depends how much you want to spend for it. Um, and if you want to do spend money on, on this. So um, another con is that it's not really made for knitting. It's more made for cross stitching. You can still make patterns on this for knitting, but really, where I think it would really shine better is if you do cross stitching. Um, I think that's really kind of where it shines because when um, when I was looking at the colors, it gave the number and the color of it, which I believe were cross stitching like material, like the thread. So, and you can do cross stitching, uh, cross stitching too. So. I think that's kind of one of the downfall, not downfalls, but one of the drawbacks is that it can be a little bit limiting in terms of uh, knitting patterns, but um, it can be a good medium point. Um, a good pro, the, um, going back to pros really quickly, um, what I found is that you can make comments or write within the patterns. Um, like I discussed last week, I like because usually I like to draw the pattern then write out my patterns, so it's good to have it all in one document, all in one section. So. Um, it was it was a good program. It was a good decent program. Uh, definitely, I would say better than um, a lot of the online programs that we saw last week. Um, so I'd definitely uh, take a look at it, especially download the free download and play with it for a little while. So the next program is uh, a program called Stitch Matcher. So this kind of really jumped out at me. It was a great program. Um, I only I only did the demo. Um, I'm seriously considering buying this program. Um, there probably at one point I probably will. This kind of was the runaway winner of the group because, first of all, it was really designed for knitting, um, and with knitters in mind. So, which is right up my alley, surprisingly enough. So, but the reason why it was so impressive to me was that it had a ton of stitches. Like any stitch that you wanted, it had. Um, menus where you can just select it and do like drag and drop so if you want to do a lot of complicated like uh, cables or what have you it had a stitch for everything so that was really cool so you can get really complicated if you wanted to do um, the pattern stitch wise also 
it had a ton of colors. So if you were doing Fair Isle or anything of the like, it had all the colors that you needed. So that way you can um, really express the pattern that way too, which was great. Um, also, during the program, you can make notes. Again, really like that feature. What I um, can concerning what I do um, and how I go throughout my process. Um, but there's also has, which is, I haven't seen this in any other program, has a live output text for patterns. So as you're creating it, um, you will see a box in the lower right hand corner actually writing out the pattern as you do it, which was, I thought, really nifty, really cool, um, which I loved because you don't really see that, but also it was very helpful as you're making it in terms of the chart to see kind of what it's written out to be. So that way, as you're going through it, it helps out, which was I, I was very impressed with. So another one is, one of the last is, uh, a lot. it has a lot of good options on the top in terms of save, undo, cut, copy, paste, um, redo, which was... I really liked a lot. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, which I really liked a lot because that way, in case you made a mistake, if you just want to do um, a pattern that repeats, you can do cut and copy, uh, cut and paste. So I thought that was really cool, and I really enjoyed it a lot. So that way, it kind of, um, it can be a shortcut in case you're doing a really big pattern. Um, once you do it once, you can just go and do it across if you like. So that was really cool. One of the cons is that it. Um, is that the demo version is very limited. Um, even though it gave you a short little chart that you can play with, I couldn't really do a full pattern even though I was only making like a coaster, which is a small pattern, I couldn't really get the full pattern on it. But the idea, I, I believe, the idea is to really kind of um, force you to buy the program, you know, so that way you can have the full unleash of it. So the other side is leading up is that it does cost money, quite a bit of money. Um, it's about 60 pounds or $80 US. So that is a lot of money for a program. That's my only hesitation in buying it because it is quite a bit of money to put down on a program. So I think this is really the program if you are going to be doing pattern, be making a lot of patterns like over and over and over again then I think this is the program for you, uh, which is why I'm considering it, because I know I'm going to be making a lot of program. I'm not going to stop making patterns, so I think th uh, this is probably going to be what I download and use, and I'm going to move away from Excel. But if you're only going to do a pattern here and there, um, you might not want to do it because of the high price point. So, But um, I would still recommend taking a look at it, I'm downloading the demo even though it is kind of limited just to, so that you can take a look at it for yourself and play around with. Um, but I was highly impressed with this pattern. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. So the last program that I really um, did or played with was um, Excel. Um, I know a co I have talked about Excel in the past but I just wanted to go over it again uh, just to give you why I like it and give you some kind uh, cons to it too. I'm um, a lot of pro uh, for some of the pros for Excel is that it has a lot of colors, um, so that way you can have a lot of variety. Um, but also one of the nice thing is that most people already have Excel on their computer um, in terms of they have my like Microsoft Office and one of the programs is Excel. So I would definitely. Um, you don't have to pay more money for another program. Most likely, you're either already paying for Windows or you already paid for Windows so um, or Excel program, so you already have it. So um, that's the, kind of the nice thing is that you. another pro is that you can actually make the pattern as big as you want and in any shape or size. So that way, because Excel kind of goes on forever, if you just keep scrolling past. So that way, I've made scarves, I made blankets, I made coasters, I made, you know, if you want to do a shawl, you can. Any shape and size you want, you can do it in Excel, which is kind of nice because um, sometimes you don't need, you know, length, you need width, to, or vice versa, depending on what you do. So 
Um, another my last pro comes into the fact that you really really can add text and um, write in your pattern. Um, so like that's how I wrote all my patterns. It's just like I made made it then just added text to it. So that was really cool. But some of the cons are is that it's not made for this like crafting at all. So like there's no stitches. You do have to do some setup in terms of getting the right size for all the templates, but. Um, and there's no stitches, so it's only color. So if you're really looking to do like stitch work um, in your pattern, it's not gonna have it at all. So again, like it's not made set up for that. Um, but also, if you're not familiar with Excel, um, there is kind of a learning curve for it um, because, you, like I said, you do have to set it up. You do have to make it your own um, to what you want. Once you know how, it's easy. Takes a couple minutes, and you're all set up. But um, I think this is good, I feel like this is a good, um, program to kind of start pattern making with because, like, once you learn how to do it, it's a good way to kind of play with. And also, like I mentioned before, if you already, if you already have Excel, um, it's kind of probably give you the most variety in terms of, um, what you can do with a pattern. A lot of the internet internet programs are good but it's they're a little unique and if you don't have internet um, then you can't you're out of luck um, this way you have a program on your computer it's always there um, you don't have to rely on you know internet to make it work or um, anything like that so that kind of wraps up what my reviews I hope you enjoy them if you have any questions let me know in the comments below um, but I'll also put links to WinStitch and Stitch Master so that way you can take a look at it and kind of see if you like it. Anywho, see you guys next week. Bye!